All right, so what's going on, y'all? I mean, I'm making this video because I want to talk about Scream. More specifically, this new Scream trilogy that centers around Sam Carpenter. But I'm not going to be making no theories and stuff about... You know, I am going to make one theory about this new Scream film. But that's about it. But it's not going to be like any groundbreaking stuff like these other videos. We ain't going to be doing all that. I'm going to be talking about the trilogy as a whole in this video. And, um... Yeah, and for many reasons. One being I'm a huge Scream fan. The first time I ever saw Scream was in 2006 when I was 11 years old. I was 11. Um, but I didn't become a fan until like high school. My junior year, my uh, sophomore going into my junior year of high school, I believe. I didn't become a fan until then. Okay. And other reasons are, well, anticipation for Scream 6. The new film that's coming out next month. And I have theories about not just Scream 6, but the whole trilogy. I think that there was more than one killer in Scream 5. And it's either one or three things to me. I think that there might have been a cult. Because think about it. When Amber and Mitch, Richie met, they met in the subreddit. And the subreddit isn't just two people, people. It's like hella people on these reddits. Also, they weren't the only two guy. They weren't the only two people that were pissed off at Stab Eight because of how trash it was. Remember, they were mad. The one of the, uh, the main reason why they did that killing spree was because they were mad at Stab Eight, right? And I would imagine they aren't the only ones that were mad in that subreddit. So, what, how do we not know that there were more people in on this killing spree? From that subreddit. How do we not know that they didn't form like some cult? Because remember, Kevin Williamson is still on this project. He's like an advisor, I think. He's not writing, but I think he's like an advisor to the other writers and stuff like that. The new writers that's on this project. And one of the pro one of the main ideas he one of the main uh plot points he wanted to make for Scream 3 was Stu Marker survived the Scream One, uh, Scream One massacre. Remember when he got the TV thrown on him? Well, he survives that, and um, in Scream Three, he's gonna be leading a cult from jail. What if Kevin Williamson wants to incorporate that into this, uh, into this new script? Not for Scream Six, but for Scream Seven. What if that's the whole, what if that's the, what if that's the big reveal for, uh, for Scream 7? Cause they're, th cause they're going to think of, they're trying to think of something big for Scream 7. That's what I believe. They're going to come up with something big and it's going to all tie together. Of course, it's a trilogy. It has to tie together. Okay. Now the second one. I might get flack for this, but hey, I've been thinking about this and it kind of makes sense when you really think about it. Tara, Tara is the third uh, is the third killer. And not only that, but she was the ringleader this whole time. We just didn't see it. Think about it. What do all the scream opening scenes have? And I'm talking about screams one through four. What do all of them have in common? The intended target died. Casey Becker and Stephen Orr. Phil Stevens and Maureen Evans. Cotton Weary and his girlfriend. Marnie Cooper and Jenny Randall. They all died. But Tara didn't. Now I know what you're saying. Their plan was to bring Tara back. I mean, not Tara, but uh, Sam back because she was in Modesto. Remember, she had um, she had left Tara when she was 13. Went to Modesto. Well, she left Tara when Tara was 13. Sam was 18. 
She left and went to Modesto. But what if. But what if the plan wasn't Amber and Richie's plan? What if it was Tara's plan? Because remember. I said Sam left Tara. Left. Abandoned Tara. Not only did Sam abandon Tara, her father abandoned Tara before Sam abandoned Tara when she was five years old. Not only that, but her mother is not even around. She's an alcoholic from what we know from the opening scene and the, uh, and the, uh, the, after the big reveal, when, uh, Amber called her mother a drunk. So she's a uh, she's an alcoholic. She's barely there. She's all, she was on a business meeting in uh, Scream Five when it all happened, which is perfect timing. Her mom's gone. She's in the house alone. Perfect time to plot that. Perfect time. And the reason why I bring up them leaving her is because I think that Tara suffers from abandonment issues. And I think that is the crux of why she plotted all of this. She wanted Tara to come. She wanted Sam to come back because she's lonely. Now, I know what you're saying. It sounds stupid, but think about it. Do psychopaths, do some psychopaths really think logically about things? I mean, look at the. Look at the killers. Look at Sam and Richie. They were the clumsiest, dumbest killers. They were probably the worst of the of the killers from Scream. They were probably the worst. Their motives, their motive was okay, but everything they did, what they said they were going to do to get away with the whole killing spree was just dumb. When you really think about it, everything that they said was just dumb. Their plan to get away with it, they were not going to get away with it. They just weren't. They were not getting away with this at all. And they were just a bunch of psychopaths that didn't really think things through. But. Because of that, because of how dumb they were, I didn't for one think that they were the masterminds behind this. Someone had to have led them because they're not dumb. They're not smart enough to lead a killing spree like this. There was always... You know, in Scream, in these Scream franchise, there's always a mastermind. There's always a tag along, right? Scream 1, Billy was the mastermind. Stu was the tag along. Scream 2, Mrs. Loomis was the mastermind. Mickey was the tag along. Scream 3, there was only one killer. But you can debate that there were more than one killer. But he, but he killed this accomplice to tie a loose end. Because Angelina, she was the perfect... Uh, she was the perfect accomplice, if you ask me. But we'll never know. Scream 4. Jill was the mastermind. Charlie was the, just the um the tag-along. There's always a tag-along in this. But in Scream 5, there was no, there, there was no mastermind or tag-along between those two. I didn't get that feeling at all. Someone had to have been spearheading this. Someone had to have been directing this. And I think it was Tara. I told you, Tara, she wanted to bring uh, Sam back because she was lonely. She has abandonment issues. And Billy said it best. Uh, abandonment issues cause a serious deviant behavior. What if her deviant, what if that deviant behavior caused her to conjure up the plot? Because think about it. She did not die in the opening scene. And not only did she not die in the opening scene. She didn't die when they cut, when they attacked her in the hospital. Remember, she was sitting in the hospital. She heard something. She heard a thud. And she left her room. She saw the cop was dead. The killer, the killer could have attacked her. The killer could have killed her. Richie could have killed her. But he didn't. Amber, she was taken all day. But my thing, but my thing was, 
Amber was never trying to kill her. I don't think Amber was trying to kill her. And then fast forward to the party. Remember when uh, Amber pulled out the gun, which was Dewey's gun, and he she shot Liv in the head? Who was standing next to her when she shot Liv in the head? Tara. She could have easily blown Tara's brains out because Tara was standing next to her. But she wanted to take all day, talking about some welcome to Act 3. But she could have easily blew her brains out. But she didn't do that. And instead of killing her, she tied her up and put her in her closet. First of all, you're not first of all, one, you're not supposed to leave that many, you're not supposed to leave that many victims alive. They left way too many victims alive. And three, well, two, they got what they wanted. Remember, the plan was to bring Sam back, right? So what would be the use for Tara? She could have just killed Tara right there, but she didn't. And why is that? Why is that? Why didn't she kill Tara? Why didn't she do it? Why was she taking all day? You want to know why? You want to know why she wasn't taking all day? You want to know why she was taking all day? Because she was never trying to kill Tara. Never trying to kill her. That's what I think. I don't think she was ever trying to kill her. I think Tara was in on it this whole time. I think she was the mastermind behind it. And I think when they were going to stage the bodies, I think they were going to leave Tara alive and they were going to kill everyone else. That's what I think was going to happen. But yeah, that's why I think Tara is the, uh, that's why I think Tara was the killer. Well, the, was, could potentially be the third killer. Oh, also, I forgot to mention, how the hell did Amber know that her mother was a drunk? How the hell did Amber know that Billy Loomis was Sam's father? How do you even get that information? How... How else was she going to get that information if it wasn't from Tara? I think Tara already knew about Billy Loomis being Sam's father. I think she found out. That's what I think. She was just playing dumb like she didn't know. I think she always knew. I think she knew for quite some time. She was just playing dumb. And I think she told Sam, and I think she told Amber. That's what I think. Now, here's theory number three. Both. What if Tara was part of this? What if Tara had a a had abandonment issues, and two, she was also part of that little subreddit cult I was talking about. What if all of that in the opening scene when she was talking about how she didn't how she didn't watch any uh stab movies? What if that was just the writer's way of fucking with us and throwing us off the scent? What if she's a huge stab fanatic but didn't really like let on to the audience that she was a huge stab fanatic or a horror fanatic? Cause think about it. Every horror, every uh killer in Scream is a huge horror fanatic. And after Scream 1, well after Scream 2. Was a huge stab fanatic. Guys, you gotta think about those things. And because of that, because of Tara potentially being the killer, here's what I think. Here's my theory for Scream 6. 
I think the if Tara is the third killer, I think that whoever is the killer or the killers in Scream Five, in Scream Six, I think whoever they are, I think they know what Tara's doing behind the scenes. That's what I think. I think they know that Tara is the. I think they know that Tara is the killer. Well, a third killer from Scream Five. I think they know. Her, I think they're on to her little secret. And they're actually trying to stop her, maybe. I think there might be a scene where they talk about, oh, I know your little secret, Tara. I know that you were one of the killers in Scream, in Scream 5, but they're not going to let that on now. They're going to say that for Scream 7. It wouldn't, it wouldn't make any logical sense to to uh, add that in Scream uh, 6 when you have a trilogy when you have uh, the trilogy Scream 7 you can save that for Scream 7 but that's ultimately what I think I think Tara might I think Tara I have a strong suspicion that Tara is the third killer in Scream 7 that she's going to be the third killer in Scream 7 I think she was I think she was moving behind the scenes in Scream. I think she was moving behind the scenes in Scream 5. I think someone's going to get I think someone's going to ex, going to try to expose her in Scream 6. So that's going to want her so that's going to make her want the uh want to really kill the killer because the killer's on to her. The killer knows what she's doing. And so she's going to try and stop the killer before the killer reveals what she's doing behind the scenes. And in Scream 7 is where we get the big reveal. That she was the mastermind this whole time. And that her abandonment played a huge part in that. How everyone was abandoning her and how it caused her to feel lonely. And then one day she just snapped. And came up with the plan to go to the spearhead a killing to a killing spree. To spearhead a killing spree. What if what if the reason why she's doing all this is just to get at her big sister? Well, to make her big sister pay for leaving her. And the fact that she needs a companion at the same time. That being her sister, because her mom, she's out on business trips. She's out on business trips all the time. She's not around to see her. She's not around to see her daughter. And her dad left her. She, she might kill his ass in the trilogy. Think about it. He abandoned her. She mad at him. She might kill it. She might end up killing his ass. He might be, he might be part of the opening scene kill. Just think about it. They didn't talk about the father yet. They ain't, they ain't bring up the father yet. I think they might bring up the father and the mother in Scream 7. I think they might have to because. I think if she's going to be the killer, it has to, everything has to, everything has to tie together. I mean, her father left her. She probably has anger towards him. Her mother's barely around. I know she got anger towards her and her sister abandoned her. So she got anger towards them. So of course, I think she's going to probably want the mother dead. She's probably going to want the father dead too, because they abandoned her. And she's going to want Terry. And I think she's going to want Sam dead too. Because Sam abandoned her. That's what it all comes back to. Abandonment. And her abandonment probably caused her to start that cult, that stab cult, to go after people. Richie and Amber. Shit. And look out for Mindy, too. Everyone's a suspect. Look out for Mindy, too. Maybe she was part of the cult as well. And I know you saying, I know what you're saying. He just naming names now. Nah. Remember when Amber was attacked by Ghostface? Ghostface only stabbed her in the shoulder. 
He only stabbed her in the shoulder. So, and she wasn't even bleeding that much when she got stabbed in the shoulder. And then she was, uh, and then she was, uh, murmur, uh, murmuring to, uh, Sam talking about something. That's a lot of blood, Sam. I didn't see a lot of blood. Maybe she was just playing dead. Maybe they were just part of the little scheme to play dead. I don't know. I would, that, that seemed a little fishy to me. But that's a small possibility. That's not a major possibility. The major possibility to me is those three things. Either there's a cult. That's one. Two, Tara's the third killer. Or three, both. And I don't know, man. Tara might end up being the third killer, man. And I think, and the reason why I brought up the killer knowing Tara's dirty little secret is because in the original Scream, in the original trilogy, because there was supposed to be a trilogy for Scream after Scream 4. Scream 4 was supposed to be a trilogy. And Scream 5 wasn't even supposed to be about Sam Carpenter. It was supposed to be about um, Jill. Because remember, Jill was a because the original idea, well, Kevin Williamson's original idea was to have Jill survive Scream 4 and get away with it. Sydney was going to catch amnesia and forget about what happened. But yeah, Jill was, was originally going to get away with it. And the kill, and this time she was going to play the role of Sydney because the killer was going to hunt after her. The only difference is this killer knows what she was doing. She knew about the um the killer knew about the killing spree that Jill helped orchestrate in Woodsboro in Scream 4. So not only is Emma trying to protect herself from the killer, she's trying to protect her secret as well. But Wes Craven, he the um he nixed that idea. What if they're going to incorporate that into the script for Scream 6? Where the killer knows Tara's little secret that she was the uh, killer behind the scenes. What if that's the reason? What if that's the reason for all of that happening in Scream 6? That's just some things I'd be thinking about. And that cult thing, I don't know, man. I think that might be a cult. It might be. That's just a possibility for me. But yeah, that's just my uh just that's just my two cents on the whole ordeal. I think that there might those three possibilities are strong for me. I think there might be a cult. I think Tara might be the leader of that cult. And I don't know. You just my, that's just my two cents. But let me know what y'all think in that comment section. Cause I'm trying to like, I'm trying to like have discussions with people about this. And, um, I want to see what y'all think. So if you make it this far into the video, cause you know, People don't really watch my full length videos, but if you do make it this far into the video and you hear this, uh, and you hear me talking right now, be sure to leave a comment. I want to talk to you about this because I think, I, I don't know. I have, there's a strong possibility that's that terror might be the third killer this whole time. That's what I think. That's it. But that's all I got to say. All right. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe. You know I scratch that. If you wanted to like, share, and subscribe, there's a subscription button. You do it. You would do it. I'm not getting smart with you. I'm just saying. If you really wanted to subscribe, you know, you, you would subscribe. I ain't getting, like I said, I ain't getting smart. I'm just saying. 
I mean, it's obviously it's obviously a subscription button, a like button, and a comment button. So there's no point in me saying that. You've been on YouTube long enough. You know what to do if you choose to do it. But I would really like for you to do it. I, w I would really like for you to engage with me on this because this, I feel strongly about this. I think Tara might be the third killer. I think she might be the third killer in Scream, um, in Scream 7 when it's revealed. I think she might be the third killer. And I think her abandonment is the thing that's driving her. Her abandonment issues is the thing that's driving her. That's what I think. But yeah, that's all I got for now. Peace.